This is appraisal, a perk that allows you to rummage through an open chest to get another item. I have one major issue with this perk. Who the fuck named this perk appraisal? You appraise a house, you appraise a diamond, you don't appraise a fucking medkit. I already know its value. This perk should be called leftovers. You know, we just had Thanksgiving, so it's pretty topical. Or we already have sloppy butcher, what about sloppy seconds? Someone tag behavior in the comments. Hashtag it, rename appraisal to something more accurate. So this perk has a lot of fancy wording, but it's basically the equivalent of having two chests spawned right next to each other. Yeah, that's so cool. Cool enough to justify a perk slot. Well, lucky for you, I'm putting appraisal through my trademark, one to 10 star rating system. It's a rigorous rating system where I use data and facts to rate these perks. And with over a month and a half of experience in this game, you can trust my opinion. I have good news for the 0.3% of you guys who use this perk. It's better than aftercare and it's better than ace in the hole. The bad news is, it's still a dog shit perk. You get double the toolboxes, double the med kits, and double the flashlights. But do you really need all that? On Thanksgiving, you can't fit everything onto one plate, and you'll be asking yourself, should I go back for seconds? Well, appraisal is kind of like grabbing a huge plate of green bean casserole and another Hawaiian roll despite being stuffed to the gills. It seems like a good idea at the time, but you'll be regretting it later. Here's my issue with perks like this. They take you away from the objective. I get annoyed using this perk. I would be annoyed with my my teammates if they were using this perk. How many times have you been hanging from a hook or working on an important generator just to see your teammates opening a chest? It makes me lose my mind. Here's the absolute best case scenario for appraisal. A chest spawns right next to a generator and you get two, two, two toolboxes. <laughs> two toolboxes out of the chest. That exact situation happened to me probably twice in my games. So we got a toolbox, which is fine. Let's drop the toolbox. And we're gonna rummage. Oh, wait. Uh, did I not pick it up? One of those. Let's rummage again. I do like a. Oh, look how quick we rummage. Nice. Another toolbox, but a better one, I guess. Okay, we're gonna pick up a brand new toolbox. This is a nice one. We're gonna put it here. And I'm gonna rummage and get one more item. That was actually a very nice toolbox. We're playing uh, Ghostface. What do I get? another toolbox so this and i'll put that one right there all right so let's just pick up a toolbox and uh get to work and then i'll run up and uh grab the other one once this one runs out but i did the math the time spent going to and from the chest divided by the time saved by using the toolbox minus the progress you would have had if you stayed on the generator equals one and you know what that means no, me neither, but I thought it was an interesting concept. The same people that will defend this perk are probably the same people in my chat telling me that cranberry sauce is the best Thanksgiving food or deviled eggs. There are only three acceptable answers for the best Thanksgiving food. Turkey, mashed potatoes, and stuffing. That's it. And honestly, I'm a bit pissed at my chat because I spent too much time arguing with them about what the best Thanksgiving food is and not enough time reviewing this perk. Sweet potato pie is decent. Guys, you guys, your head's in the wrong place, man. You're, you're thinking sweet on the most savory holiday, you know? Devil eggs. Oh my god, you guys are fucking high. I'm done. I'm done. I'm blocking anyone with a bad take from here on out. This perk is like the throw blanket you have sitting in your closet because your mom spent over $200 at Bed Bath & Beyond and you got it for free. Like, you don't hate it, but it's really not worth it. And I'm not going to talk to my friends about it or make a YouTube video about it. Just like Ace in the Hole, this perk is usually paired with Plunder's Instinct, which helps you see chests around the map. Using over half your perk slots in order to get two medkits is definitely worth it and not at all ridiculous. When it comes to perks, I honestly think you'd be better off running just about anything else. I think it's important to think of perks in the context of a scary movie. A character in a scary movie would benefit from knowing the location of windows to help them escape from a killer. A character in a scary movie would benefit from being able to shake out of the killer's grasp. A character in a scary movie would benefit from getting a burst of speed away from a killer. But a character in a scary movie would give two shits about being able to get two flashlights out of one toolbox. Do yourself a favor and leave this perk in the lobby. I give it 3 out of 10 stars. Let me know your ratings in the comments. And here's a better perk.